Hello students, I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your lectures. So from today we'll start with the question answers of fiber to fabric. So let's get started. Students, take out your notebooks and try to answer the following. You may pause the video whenever required. So let's start with practice time. The first question is, tick the correct answer. First one, yarns are made of very thin strands called fabric, B fibers, C looms, D cocoon. Go ahead and write your answer. Question number two, weaving is done on special machines called a jeans, B looms, C combs, D needles. Third, which of these is called a golden fiber? A cotton, B silk, C rayon, D jute. I hope these questions are easy for you if you have watched the previous videos very carefully. Question number four, which of these is a natural fiber? A rayon, B acrylic, C polyester, D silk. Fifth question. All the fabrics are made up of loose threads called A yarns, B balls, C jeans, D looms. Sixth. The other name of flax is A wool, B linen, C silk. D jute. Seventh, what type of climate is best suited for growing jute plant? A dry, B warm, C humid, D warm and humid. Now check your answers. Students, check your answers and feel happy if your answers are correct first fiber second b looms third d jute fourth d silk fifth a yarns sixth b linen seventh d warm and humid Now let's proceed with fill in the blanks. Your first question is, fibers are classified as dash and dash. Keep writing the answers. Question number two, the fruits of cotton plants are called dash. Question number three, the process of making yarns from fibers is called dash. Fourth, linen is obtained from dash plant. And the last question, weaving is done by special machines called dash. Now let's check your answers. Answers of fill in the blanks are, first, natural and synthetic fiber or man-made fiber, second, cotton balls, third, spinning, fourth, flax, fifth, looms. For copying the answer, you will be provided PDF for these question answers. So just try to answer the questions. Very short answer type questions. First, define sericulture. I hope you all know what is sericulture. The answer is rearing of silk worms for the production of silk is called sericulture. Your second question, what is the process of separating cotton fibers from their seeds called? I hope you all know the answer and the answer is ginning. Third question, 
what is meant by shearing as you also in the in the previous videos the removing hair from sheep is known as shearing question number 4 why are sweaters made from wool i hope everyone knows the answer actually wool traps air between its fiber and air is a bad conductor of heat hence this air doesn't allow the heat from our body to escape which keeps us warm that's why the sweaters are made from wool question number 5 What kind of soil is needed to grow cotton plants? Yes, you are correct. Black soil and alluvial soil is used to grow cotton plants. Let's move on to short answer type questions. Your first question is what are natural fibers? Give there two examples. so you all know the fibers obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers and here are two examples cotton and wool you may give other examples like silk jute linen etc question number 2 what are man made fibers write there two examples The fibers made from chemicals in factory are called man-made fibers and the examples are nylon and rayon. Let's see the third question. State three properties of man-made fibers. So here are the three properties. The first one is they are very strong fibers the second one they are easy to clean the third property is they do not absorb sweat come to question number 4 what are the sources of natural fiber i hope you all can answer this question there are two sources of natural fibers the first one is plants and from their stem leaf seed etc we get plant fibers and the second one is animals hair or insect cocoon provide you animal fibers question number 5 state two properties of silk and their uses so here are the properties of silk The first property is silk is a strong fiber and the second one is silk is shiny fiber uses of silk it is used to make sarees suits ties etc I hope you were able to answer the questions now In next part we'll continue with the long answer type questions and hots That's all for today's video we'll end this video with a positive thought little by little day by day what is meant for you will find its way thank you stay home stay safe and have a great day